वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मेकेनिकल मैजिक मेकेनिकल लर्निंग टूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट टूल जियोमेट्री इन टू द वर्कशॉप एंड द मैक्सिम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द टूल एंड दैट विल बी कॉल एज अ ब्रोचिंग टूल सो दैट विल बी हैविंग अ वन काइंड ऑफ एडवांटेजेस इन टू द एनी काइंड ऑफ वर्कशॉप सो इन ब्रोचिंग टूल देर आर नंबर ऑफ parts you can find over here this you can see and starting with the first one and that will be called as a land so generally land that will be the top portion of a tool and is called the land and there is the normally ground slightly to provides the clearance so you can see that that will be called as a land that will be on to the tool of the broach so generally that will be providing the clearance on to the tool then the second one and that will be the important one and that will be the clearance angle so generally this one is called as a clearance angle so the angle with the horizontal so that will be representing as a clearance angle over here so in case of the single point cutting tool the land of the broad should not be reground because it changes the size of the tool generally that will be from 1.5 degree to 2 degree for roughing teeth or you can say 0 degree to 1.5 degree for the finishing tooth and it changes the size of the tool so next terminology and that will be the rack angle so generally rack angle that will be making an angle with the vertical faces with that flank of the tool so in case of the rack angles it is similar to the rack angle of the lathe tool generally regrinding is done on to the face of the teeth and depending upon the materials it values varies from 3 to 15 degree so generally available in between 3 degree to 15 degree now after the rack angles on to the broaching machines and that will be next one and that will be the pitch so generally pitch is representing as a linear distance from the cutting edge of the one of the tooth to the corresponding tooth or you can say next tooth so that linear distance that will be called as a pitch of the broaching tool so generally pitch differs from the roughing teeth over here different for the semi finished teeth and difference from the finishing teeth so which kind of space is required for the operations and you can make the different kind of pitch onto the single broaching tool next one and that will be the glade so generally the application of the glade that will be provide the space for the chip or you can say call and escape so the cutted portion of the chip that will be call so you can say some curvature you can say curling of the chip of the cutted workpiece materials so that will be with the application of the gullet that will be making a call or you can say that will be help for escaping the chip from the broaching tool now starting with the geometry and that will be from the pull and so generally the pull and that will be the initial and of the broach to permit the engagement of the broach with the broaching machines with the puller head grip so that will be easily inserting into the existing hole for making a different kind of shapes onto the workpiece materials after the pull and that will be starting with the front pilot 
So generally fund pilot it will be used to guide the brooch into the hole and keeps it concentric later. So that will be used for guiding the hole the broaching tool. Then starting with the roughing teeth. So generally roughing teeth and the semi finished teeth both are the used as a cutting teeth. So maximum material removal in the case of the broaching machines that will be with the help of roughing teeth as well as semi finished teeth. After the roughing teeth and semi finished teeth that will be the space area for the finishing teeth. So with the application of the broaching tool you can make the single pass operations. So by the single pass operations you can make the finished products and uh, after the finishing teeth that will be used as a rare pilot. So generally they support the brooch after the last teeth leaves the hole. So that will be providing the support over here. So in case of the broaching tool geometry that will be consist of the three kind of different teeth and starting with the roughing teeth then semi finished teeth then finished teeth. So you can make the single pass you can make your finished product. So here it will be the sank land that will be including as a pull end and front pilot. So these two it will be mixed as a sank length. So sank length then roughing teeth semi finished teeth or you can say that cutting teeth finished teeth and rear support. So that will be making the whole sharp kind of geometry and that will be called as a total approach land. So here it will be the all kind of teeth you can find onto the brooch tool. So in case of the some kind of chip breakers it will be also used to breaking the chips for reducing the wear and tear of the broaching tool. So if you like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you very much.